Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the difference between being to and gone to. There are a lot of learners in English who are confused with these two usages, whether to use been to or gone to. First, let us be clear about being and gone. Being is the third form of the verb be and gone is the third form of the verb go. We use been and gone with has and have in the present perfect tense. Let's take a journey back when we started our school days. I think we all remember and it still rings in our ears the famous line from the poem Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? The answer the Pussycat gave was I have been to London to look at my queen. Why not? The answer was, I have gone to London to look at my queen. Is there a difference between been to and gone to? Yes, there is obviously a difference between been to and gone to. When we are using been to, we mean that someone went somewhere and has already returned. And when we are using gone to, it means the person is now somewhere and has not yet returned. So let us look at the two sentences. John has been to the United States and John has gone to the United States. It looks same, is it not? It does confuse us, most of us. But John has been to the United States means John has gone to United States at one point of time in the past and has now returned. And John has gone to the United States means John is still in the United States or on the way to the United States and has not yet returned. So obviously I think I have been able to help you understand the difference between been to and gone to. To know more about such usages in English which confuses you, please visit my site skillenglish.com. I hope it will help you. Very soon. See you next. Take care. Goodbye.